Yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And look, look, look. In today's video, we're gonna go over the Mexico City Offline Regional that just took place yesterday, 9 28, 2024. I don't got the top 16. Nope. I don't got the top 32. Nope. So, bruh, just don't ask me. Don't ask me, because I don't got it. We got the top eight. But before we start, let me know below what you guys think the topping decks are for this offline regional everybody said it's luchi newsflash ain't no luchi in this whole entire top eight so i know it's crazy let me know below let's go ahead and get straight into it so we have the mexico city regional that just ended up happening literally yesterday 9 28 2024 we do got the top eight so these are the deck lists. I've actually already seen all these, so nothing's gonna be a real surprise to me, but I know it's gonna be a surprise to you guys because we got some shiesty ass shit in this top eight, okay? The first thing that's real, real shiesty, in my opinion, has to be, there's no Zoros. There's literally no Zoros in this whole entire deck of Bonnie. Everything looks pretty much the same, but this Bonnie list ended up winning, and he went 12 zero ties one loss he ended up winning the whole entire regional this bonnie actually won a regional i don't know this might be the first time i actually seen body win a regional let me know below if this is false or true okay i don't even know but just look at this he is actually opting out for the four dofies with no zoro you know i want to know why they're actually opting out for the four dofies because they know the nine costs the nine cost drop zoro gets popped by not only luchi but now with all the brand new by luffy lists running around that nine cost zoro is really just getting put in the so it's literally just getting packed up so instead of opting out for the four zoros they're actually going for the four dofi so you guys don't know what it does it pretty much freezes any uh rest of characters on the field it can freeze up the three but everything else besides that looks pretty pretty the same and yeah man congratulations bro bonnie taking home the ship man taking home the ship with no zoros actually insane next deck we have right now is the runner-up is by luffy i'm telling you right now be like luffy usually always loses to bonnie but just to keep it a stack with you guys i'm actually surprised that he actually didn't end up winning because he's actually not playing the zoro zoro is what really breaks us down but the fact that he's not even going for the zoro is actually crazy we got the kuzans both kuzans we're actually playing four finger pistols, which is actually insane. I would have never have thought to play four finger pistols, but hey, if it works for him, it works for him. The only other thing I see changed is he is opting to run the four. I'm a real, real big fan of running the Rocket Luffy. I've been seeing a couple lists that run three. I feel like that may be wrong. I feel like four is definitely the way to go, especially since this is your main source of board removal on the field, fact that an opinion. And um, yeah, he ended up going 10 wins, three losses um baja california mexico and he's jacobs okay cool congratulations bro you got yourself a top eight finish at the mexico regional mexico city regional with my favorite deck of all time let's go ahead and go straight to the next game not the game the next list okay you think i'm over here playing a fucking game on the sim right now but we're not we have the black luffy list right now i ended up making a how to beat video on this deck so if you guys are really unsure to really how to really play against this deck card at the top you see the thumbnail right now tap in tap in game type in but this guy ended up going 10 wins two losses and um just looking at the list he's playing two tashigi four brook four rebecca how many geckos four two issues four jack four kuzan this actually kind of looks like probably one of the most cookie cutter black luffy list out there i mean i don't really see anything really to change he's running three t-bone three nico robin three sanji i see some people opting out for two to probably boost up this nico robin just so they have more cost reduction but besides that this looks like a really basic you know cookie cutter list congratulations bro jose 
and um you went 10 to 2 bro bring it home the ship bring it home the ship next deck we got is ygod okay i wasn't going to say ygod until we actually got to this deck because we guys don't know on the channel my last deck before going back into my black and yellow luffy list was my nail shout out to all my nail users and you guys are gonna happy be very happy because we have Adele in the top four. Adele has not fallen off. I know a lot of people are probably saying, oh, you didn't put it in the top 10. Yeah, that's because a lot of these lists are based off of popularity, okay? If Adele's not really that popular, you ain't gonna really see the results. You get what I'm saying? But it's still a shisty ass deck, fact that I opinion. I don't think, I feel like this and Katakuri is to the, probably the best two deck lists out there. But just looking at the list, he is actually opting out for the four aces. That's actually crazy. I usually don't see lists with four aces. He has the four, especially since he's actually playing the two and L as well. This is actually a very shisty ass list. He's playing the two and L, the four aces. He is actually opting out for the two king to come instead of three. I'm a big fan of three because if you end up, you know, using these two, you're pretty much assed out. But he's actually just running the two, the four. The other one disappearing is actually running the four Nakabushi. So this is a very shisty ass list. He's running the four, four. So this is a trigger happy build. This is really just a trigger happy build early and mid game. And then late game, you just start drawing and putting out the beaters. And another thing we're actually noticing, he actually only runs the two Katakuri. Oh, this is oh, a shisty shit. ass list. This list is shisty. Congratulations, Edgar and uh for their top four finish but this is crazy this has to be one of the most shisty ass lists i've ever seen top any event he got the two katakuri he got the four nekamushi he has the four you're the one to spear only two kingdom come he got the four portuguese ace i mean this deck is shisty very shisty ass list congratulations ygod you already know how we get down over here gang 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 touch it <laughs> next deck we have is the best deck in the format i mean according to the sim the number one deck in the format according to the sim and we got jesus with his zoro um he ended up getting a top eight finish but just looking at his list i don't really see anything too surprising to be honest with you i mean he is running the monkey d luffy i don't really see a lot of lists running monkey d luffy and that's the reason why he is running two i don't really see these too often but besides this particular card everything else looks pretty the same okay uh congratulations to your zoro the best deck in the format according to the sim and um he went nine and two so congratulations bro you're playing the best deck in the format you better win right right sim team i'm never gonna hold that down y'all i'm really never gonna hold that down the fact that the sim team put zoro number one over by luffy and all the other black decks and all the other stuff going on i'm always gonna i'm always gonna roast that but nonetheless we got another ygod member gang gang i'm telling you yellow take it over black and yellow luffy calgara anel yellow's taking over yellow best color fact not an opinion fact. and if you don't believe me you better believe me before your ass gets slapped boy fuck what you talk about <laughs> But we are back. We are back. We have the Calgara, and Calgara ended up getting a top eight finish, going eight wins, three losses. He probably bubbled out. Not bubbled out, but he probably got a loss. I wonder what he lost to, actually. I'm actually really, really curious to see what he lost to. But just looking at the list, everything kind of looks the same he is opting out for the three gadachus instead of just running two i see a lot of people running two he's actually only running the three ohm i would always think 100 percent you're always running four ohm you know, he, that's actually very very surprising he's running four shura this is actually a new car i actually never see anybody run it this is the gambo i think that's what it is gambo i have never seen anybody run this card let me know below what you guys think about this card this this card is actually a random card. i don't even know what this tell me what the utility is with this card but besides that card, he's running the three wiper for Nolan. He is actually running the two Katakuri. Okay, so, you know, I ended up seeing a lot of lists not running this. And the fact that this top eight deck did run this, maybe this is something you guys need to try out. I actually never tried out this card before because I always figured if I'm going to run this Katakuri, I might as well just run the ace you know what i mean one costs more and you have a 7k attack but uh he is also running the 2-2 split right here with two rushing um cards just to have some pressure he is running the three door i see a lot of people run four but i guess three work for him and yeah everything else looks pretty much the same congratulations ricardo you got a top eight bringing home the ship 
to mommy, okay? Or to your girl, whoever the hell you're with. I don't even know if you got a girl or not. So let's go ahead and continue. Last list. Is this the last list? I don't think it's, yeah, I don't think this is the last list, but we have another top eight finish. Black and yellow Luffy. He ended up going nine and two. I'm wondering how he ended up just going nine and two and still having a top eight. I would think he might've been top four, but you know, it is what it is. He ended up getting, like I said, top eight. He had four Kuzan, um, two ice aces two. He's actually not running the, the um, what's it called? The aces. I don't know how I feel about that. He is actually running the Sabos. How do you guys feel about this Sabo? I've been seeing a couple people play this Sabo. I'm not a fan of this Sabo. Now I'm also not a fan of running Kuz four Kuzans because late game Kuzans kind of like a throwaway card. I feel like you're only running Kuzan just for your one to six Don turns or probably one to eight Don turns really for the Kuzan. So, you know, late game when you're dropping your geckos, I'm not really a big fan of this Kuzan. That's the reason why I dropped it down to two personally. But hey, the four worked for him. I see a lot of lists running the four, but let me know what you guys think of this Sabo down here. I would have for sure, for sure, would have thought this would have been a Borsalino at least. But he's actually going with the yellow Sabo. We actually have another YGOD member as well. Like I said, we take it over this bitch. Fact, not an opinion. And this is Alexis deck profile and top eight performance. Congratulations, bro. I appreciate you. Put it on for the gang. You know what I mean? And we actually have another by luffy list from joshua this guy's actually from canada so canada stand up stand up from canada hey baby where's your ipad all right you're not cool enough <laughs> top eight let's see what's actually different in this list um everything almost kind of looks that he's actually running the four sabo he actually just went balls to the wall four sabo with of two ice ages with the four searchers so this is another shicey ass list let me know what you guys think about this sabo below because i'm actually not really too sure about these sabos i actually never tried it but i just know late game this sabo is actually dog water because if you guys summon this sabo late game and you don't have nothing in your life you pretty much don't even get your effect you pretty much have a dead card in your hand this card not only just this card but who's on this deck in particular really looks like a you know early mid game type of deck to have some type of board control and also being able to you know pretty much unstarve yourself if your deck is getting starved because a lot of people end up doing that so i can understand why he is playing the four sabos and the four kuzans just late game i don't know this card's almost kind of like this card where it's kind of dead these two you have eight cards dead at the end of like when it's time for you to get the 10 don so you know hey it worked for him and if you guys do try out this type of deck where you are running these sabos let me know below what you guys personally think of this particular list okay just with the sabos really okay so yeah this is pretty much all the deck list from the regional let's go ahead and see if he missed any so yeah and the person that won was this bonnie champion so congratulations to the champion congratulate everybody else let's see what the people are talking about no carrots she actually or he actually isn't running any carrots let's see what people say no carrots no nine cost zoro either interesting list i wonder if they chose bonnie over carrot because of the jack and the meta um same okay this opioid carrot sucks until the new structure decks come out he got a negative two this character carrot is bonnie my guy my most bodies run three to four yeah this guy probably doesn't know what he's talking about he probably just started playing one piece just, just started just talking just talking this guy's over here rapping i have no clue what he's saying definitely rapping right here and he said what's the use of the gadatsu um same use in most yellow decks removal okay so pretty much all those are all the comments this is the deck list this is what topped congratulations to the very first winning uh you know bonnie i think this might be the first time bonnie's ever won let me know below but yeah y'all that's all i got i hope you guys enjoyed the video but look before i go if you was feeling the vibes make sure you like comment and subscribe it all gone